Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, is it too early to do another Chicago song? Ah, who the hell cares? Why not? Um, today we're going to listen to Chicago's Dialogue Part 1 and Part 2. Um, this song is really a beautiful duet between um, uh, Terry Kath's vocals and, and Peter Cetera's vocals. But the thing I would urge you to pay attention to is twofold. One, um, Terry's rhythm guitar playing over here in the uh, over here in the left side is uh, obviously fantastic. But I love where there's an interlude in the middle where he kicks in a wah wah pedal to that rhythm guitar, and it's just it's really subtle, but it's there. And then um, Peter Cetera's bass playing underneath his vocals, underneath all the vocals, but underneath his vocals is just incredible, especially for the first half of the song. Um, the, the, the bass part's unbelievable. Uh, I mean, the whole band is unbelievable, from Danny, the horn section, you know, um, keyboard parts. It's, it's all great. But uh, every time I listen to and, like, really pay attention to a Chicago song, the thing I generally come walking away from uh, from it with is, is Peter Cetera's highly underrated bass playing. It's, it's fantastic. With that said, let's get started with Chicago's Dialogue Part 1 and Part 2. It just it just hit me. One thing just hit me. Peter Cetera's bass lines, they kind of remind me of, um, people are going to hate this, but I'm going to say it anyway, kind of remind me a little bit of John Entwil, Entwistle's bass lines underneath, um, underneath uh, uh, Pete Townsend's rhythm guitar parts. Every time I would listen to The Who, I, I always came away from it thinking to myself, well, really, you know, normally we're used to a lead guitar player in a band, and um, although I, so basically what what Pete Townsend was, obviously because he was the only guitar player in the band, um, I still heard more more interesting licks by John Entwistle, and uh, you know Terry Kath is is a legend. He's a god. It's just, he's 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 remarkable. Highly underappreciated because he passed away so early. Um, but in, in a song like this, where it's a lot of rhythm playing and the horn sections building up and everything's just coming through, I just hear very, very like John Ant whistle style bass guitar fills that are, that are filling in the rhythm section or filling in the, filling in the bottom end under the, under the rhythm guitar part. Um, it was just my observation, but, uh, anyway, I backed it up a little bit. We're going to continue.
Ah, such a good groove. And like I said, just all the way through it, Peter Cetera's bass playing was just fantastic. I mean, I'm a guitar player, so I, I, I obviously, you know, Terry's just a, a real hero um, to me and to many others. But, uh, I mean, Peter's vocals are so good that um, his bass playing gets overlooked, and it really shouldn't. It's, it's really good. Um, well, that said, I'm going to leave that right there. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Um, I wish you all well. Take care.